Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And we begin this hour with an update on breaking news we've been following all morning. The search for a suspect after six people were shot downtown. This happened just before 1130 last night on Illinois between Washington and Maryland. And Meredith Juliet is there live for us this morning. But Meredith, I hate to say this, it's not the only shooting that happened. Right, just a dangerous night across the board here in Indianapolis. There were two other shootings last night, three total victims from those two shootings, bringing the total to three shootings, nine total victims last night. That first shooting was at an apartment complex. That was on the south side of Indy, where two people were shot. Police do not think the injuries are life-threatening. The second was on Drexel Avenue. That's off of 38th Street. They say the victim is in stable condition. The third shooting, of course, the one right down here, where six people were shot. Police tell us all the victims were awake and breathing while they were taken to area hospitals. Now, two are in critical condition, but they are listed as stable. And we know the victims, all teenagers and adults, and that police are still looking for the shooter, and they have not released any information on who they think it might be. And you guys, this isn't the first incident at this intersection between Steak and Shake and the movie theater downtown. Earlier this year, four people were shot, all of them juveniles. In 2013, a 16-year-old was shot and killed at this intersection section. In both situations, police saying large groups of teenagers are hanging out around 20 to 30 people in the group. And like last night, witnesses describe a chaotic scene. Yeah, we passed here about an hour ago. Um, we didn't really feel like anything was off, but it definitely wasn't right either. It was a large crowd, and so it just wasn't I don't know, we weren't comfortable, which wasn't great. So we had kind of mentioned that it, there are times where it feels like we don't always know how often it happens. I don't think every incident gets reported and so we did kind of talk about how I think it's, it happens more often than we'd like to think. Now police will continue to search this morning for the shooter and Dustin and Alyssa. Hopefully we'll get some more information about the moments leading up to this shooting last night. Yes, hopefully Meredith and if you get that information let us know about it. Thanks again.